I'm on site. Um, what I wanted to talk about. Um, so yeah, since we are on hip hop, I want to talk about there's this recent um photos of Tupac that have never been seen before. Like they've never been released. The public has never seen them. And I just want to show you guys these photos because they look really, really fucking rock star. Uh, so it's a photo um, of him taking a much mugshot when he was arrested for um, that case he had of sexual assault. Okay. Um, okay. Let me show you guys the picture first. And then we'll talk about the case. Big old tongue or truck. Hey, and hey, yeah, that blacky song. It's already in my head. It's already in my head. Anyway, okay. Um, so this is the pictures. Look at that. That's crazy. Never seen before pictures of Tupac. Wow. I think he was maybe like twenty-two here, twenty-two, twenty-three or something. Damn. Look at that score. Oh, he was a real gangster, man. Tupac was a real, real, real fucking gangster. <laughs> so yeah, that's crazy. So it's the mugshot he took. Um, I think this is like, is there a year on there? Mm, yeah, 1993, I assume. 1993. But yeah, okay, so let's read about the let's read about the actual trial, the actual case, um, where that mugshot stems from. So yeah. Okay, so here it is. We've got an article here. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's by, it's not an article. It's like an encyclopedia um, upload, basically, of the trial, the actual trial. Um, so it says, Tupac Shakur trial, 1994 to 1995. And the defendant, obviously, is Tupac Shakur. And then there's another defendant, Charles Fuller. So he was charged with sexual abuse, sodomy, and illegal possession of a firearm. Hmm. Okay, so his defense was Michael Varen, Warren, <laughs> and the prosecutor was Francine James. The judge was Daniel P. Fitzgerald. Okay, this was in New York. Took place in, from November to December 1994. Okay, interesting, interesting. So the verdict was that he was guilty of sexual abuse, but he was acquitted on the other two charges. So the other two charges, sodomy, and illegal possession of a firearm he was acquitted on that but sexual abuse yep they definitely found him guilty for that and the sentence was he got 18 months to four and a half years imprisonment or four months imprisonment and five years probation okay uh-huh so the significance of this case is to many the r word trial of tupac shakur was that gangster rap promoted violence and that it also demeaned women. Gangster rap, as its performers and aficionados call it, is a rhythmic, chant like music genre with lyrics that often glorify guns, drugs, and violence. During the peak of its popularity in the early to mid 1990s, one of the most popular gangster rappers was Tupac Shakur. Before his violent death in 1996, Tupac was known to his fans as the king of gangster rap. Almost from the time he first arrived on the music scene in the early 1990s, Critics of Tupac's music claimed that his lyrics encouraged violence. As proof, these critics cited a case in which a young man gunned down a Texas state trooper and later told authorities that Tupac's music had been his inspiration. Psh, wow. Okay. So, I mean, that's a little bit like fucking just attack. You know, hip hop, they always fucking attack hip hop for promoting all these things, promoting violence. And... But they don't, they don't, they never attack the other genres like fucking rock and roll and heavy metal and all that sh shit that just promotes fucking violence and satanic and weird shit. Like it's always hip hop that gets the flag and they say hip hop is the one that um, influences the, the you to do bad shit. Mind you, there's a story in South Africa. Um, this happened quite a while ago, maybe like, I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago. Um, in the town, what is it? It's Klaxdorp, I think. Klaxdorp, there's a high school there. There was a kid who went to the high school. And the nigga pulled up to school one day with a fucking sword, like a real life sword, like on some ninja shit. 
and he stabbed one of the kids there, killed him. And then when they arrested him and they investigated him, they questioned him, they, he said his influence was the band Slipknot, you know, which is, a, which is a heavy metal band. They wear weird masks and they fucking do crazy weird music. So, you know, you can't just come for hip hop and rap the whole time when there's other genres that predominantly white people do that just also influence and glorifies a lot of bad shit and bad behavior and weird, like dark energy, you know? So, but obviously you're going to come for hip hop. Because it's hip hop. Yeah. Anyway, so let's continue. Um, almost from, yeah, we read that already. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I think this is, yeah, anyway, so that's that's pretty much the trial. Um, you guys can go read the rest because I see it's quite long. Um, but yeah, um, we we're actually on the picture. I don't know how we got to the trial, but we were on the picture. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it.